I used to hitchhike a lot all over the country. I, at, at the time, I never met anybody who hitchhiked more. And I'd always hitchhike, for example, from Princeton to New York or around the East Coast. And, and I saw a lot of accidents. And sometimes the car I was in or the truck I was in would get there first. So that piqued uh, my interest. And you could see certain configurations, like the steering column rammed right back up through the roof. And of course, no one could have survived that kind of uh, uh, rearward displacement of the steering column into them. And when I went to uh, Harvard Law School, I became interested in the connection between legal standards for safety and automobile engineering design. At that time, it was all blamed on the nut behind the wheel, so-called the driver. But I knew that the vehicle had a great deal to do with it because I'd uh, come across some uh, Air Force-sponsored uh, studies at medical schools. Uh, the Air Force found they were losing more men in Korea, uh, in, on the highways than in the Korean War. Uh, in the highways in the U.S. from traffic crashes, they began sub, uh, uh, supporting research on how people can survive crashes if the immediate environment, say the vehicle around them, was uh, crash-worthy, so like padded dash panels, stronger door latches, collapsible steering columns, seat belts, shoulder harnesses, things like that. So I wrote a paper on uh, automobile engineering uh, design and legal liability and made recommendations. And lo and behold, the world didn't uh, stand up and uh, implement them. So I would start writing. After I graduated from Harvard Law School, I'd write articles and I, I'd testify for Connecticut and, le and Massachusetts state legislatures. Nothing would happen. So I finally came to Washington. That's when something happened. The Motor Vehicle Act of 1966. And uh, even though it was irregularly enforced, sometimes very little under uh, Nixon and Reagan, uh, it saved over 200,000 lives and millions of injuries prevented or reduced in severity.